we're standing here in what we refer to uh, as the rearing room or the nursery of the insect zoo. We maintain over 65 species of arthropods. That could be uh, insects, spiders, centipedes, millipedes, crustaceans. Here at the National Museum of Natural History, we have over a dozen species of tarantulas that we exhibit and also use for demonstration purposes. Our tarantulas eat either crickets or other large insects. And these are the crickets that we keep on hand so we can actually keep our tarantulas and other predators alive in the insect zoo. Tarantulas are what are termed sit and wait predators. They're not always out on the prowl, though they will wander around, particularly at night. They're much more nocturnal. Um, but during the day, they're going to stay in their burrow or silk and hammock, whatever type of home they have constructed for themselves. And they, uh, it's only at night that they'll come out, wander around a little bit looking for prey items. I'm going to put in a cricket and see if our this is our Sunday 12.30 p.m. tarantula, Olivia, that our volunteers named. And I'm going to coax the cricket over in that direction. If she senses it and she's hungry, she'll grab it very quickly. Tarantulas grab their prey with their front legs and pedipalps and then use their fangs to inject venom. And then it will start regurgitating juices from its stomach and get those juices out onto the prey item to start digesting the, the muscles and organs uh, of the prey item so that it can basically slurp up a liquid goo that our volunteers like to call uh, out there in the display area a cricket shake. Oh, and here she goes. She's going to start to lay down some silk now. Um, some people have called this uh, the victory dance. They turn around several times, laying down a little pad of silk. And so it'll take about an hour or so for the tarantula to finish uh, slurp, digesting and slurping up that, that goo. And then the, the rest of the digestion takes place inside the tarantula. In nature, tarantulas will tackle any prey item they can. Here in the insect zoo, it's crickets and cockroaches and moths. Out in nature, anything goes. That means small frogs, toads, lizards, small mice, anything they can grab. So that's why I'm really thankful that tarantulas are not as large as a German Shepherd or a St. Bernard, or we would be fair prey.